personal, my personal savior and friend. And this is Blossom Diaspora Media. And this is the program for prayer and worship. Amen. And uh, today I want us to read the word of God in Jeremiah 30 and verses 17. Uh, the Bible says, but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds. Hallelujah. Amen. In Psalms 80 and verses 19, the Bible says, restore us, Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. In Psalms 71 and 20, the Bible says, Though you have made me see trouble, you will restore my life again. And today I want to speak about restoration. And David came to a place where he prayed to the Lord and said, Lord, I ask you to restore. Mm -hmm. You know, even the children of Israel came to a place where they cried to the Lord and said, May you restore us, O God Almighty, and make your face shine upon our lives. And I realize that it is possible uh, for you to be in the same place, a place where you feel empty, a place where you feel lost, a place where you feel in deep quagmire, a place where you feel you, you are all alone. It's just like being thrown into a deep forest. But you are here and crying to the Lord, the same way David did. You are here and saying to the Lord, Lord, restore me again. And I was looking at the word um, restoration. It is putting or bringing back into um, existence something that was there. You know, it is restoration means bringing back, back into existence or bringing back something which was there and you lost it you know and you, you're crying to the Lord and saying you know God I ask you to restore you know another meaning of restoration is putting back into former or original state you know and I realized that when we we, we became born again you know wakati yokoka, you felt so in love with the Lord but as time went by, there's something uh, that was stolen from our lives. You know, Tulipo Koka, there was that fear of the Lord. But as time went by, kuna iyo fear ili And uh, there are many things that are coming into our lives, especially these last days. And um, many things. Na zinachukua the, the, the treasure of God from our hearts. Naikichukulewa tunabaki tukiwa empty. And sometimes unakuwa so lukewarm. Hujui kama webe ni mkristo. Hujui kama ulisha ukoka. Hujui hata uko wapi. You even don't know where you stand. Uh, but it is time for restoration. And many of us, we have gone through situations of life. Ambazo zimekuwa mio yetu. Zime, zime chukua, they have taken away even our deep relationship with the Lord. But um, it is time for restoration. Today is the day of restoration. There must be something. God must do something. God must do something in our lives today. He must restore us. And you know there are wounds in our hearts. There are wounds. Kuna mambo ambayo tunayapitia mpaka hawezi kuyelezea mtu you cannot say to someone ni mambo ambayo yako ndani yako na ya, th those things and those issues are eating you up na zinagwara moyo wako so you are left wounded by the things that you have gone through but david says though you have made me see trouble though you have made me go through hard situations and tough circumstances but I know that you are going to restore me and for me I have come to give you hope I have come to say yes we have gone through all those things that we have gone through but God is going to restore us the Lord is here to bind up our wounds it doesn't really matter what we have gone through all we need is 
just to open our hearts to the Lord and say, here I am. This is where I stand and this is where I am today. I bring my heart and I bring my life to you. I pray for restoration. There are many of us who are seeking the Lord even for healing. But I would say that healing starts from inside. Healing starts from inside. I had a friend of mine, and I'm sorry just to mention this. I will, I will not mention her name. And aliambukizwa ugonjwa flani na rafiki yake. Now those are many days and many years ago. Na lakin her heart, even today, she's wounded. She is wounded. Akinywa dawa. Arvis, akizikunywa, anakunywa with the bitterness. So yeye amegonjeka moyo na amegonjeka mwili. All I told her is that she needed Christ to come in in her life and intervene. She needed God's intervention. Yani ule muingilio wa mungu. Yani mahali ambapo unasema God it is you and you alone. Wewe ndio unawezo wa kuingilia maisha yangu. Wewe ndio unawezo wa kuingilia moyo wangu. And I told her the first healing unayo hitaji ni healing ya moyo wako. When God comes in and a heal mioyo yetu like the Bible says that he comes he binds our wound. You know, that is a, that's a wound in the heart that needs to be ifungwe, afungiwe kile kidonda unajua. Now, that is the work of the Spirit and that is the work only God can do. And as we worship Him today, as we give Him praise, as we give Him honor, as we sing to Him, as we kneel and bow before Him, as we join the 24 hours, I mean elders in heaven, as they cast their crown, as they lift up their voices and their hands to the Lord, let us do the same. Let us join them. Let us join the angels in heaven and give glory to the Lord and pray that God, even through this process, God is coming to restore us to the glory of your name. My word today is the word of restoration. Amen. Bringing again in possession what was something you know, bringing into newness of something that was there but has faded. Uh, and I, I've realized that um, a lot of time, unawezo kabai hata kama nipete or something that has been coated gold. Eh? Alafu kika nayo, unashika maji, unaoga nayo, there is a possibility. Ile coat ya gold iishe. But now for you, we let her back to the glory. That is restoration. To bring it back to its glory. Lazima urudi pale kwa blacksmith. Anaito blacksmith. Lazima urudi pale kwa muundaji. Lazima wende pale tena. Umuambie, I want my pete again. I want my earring again. To come out the same way it was. To the originality. I praise the Lord. And, uh, and when God... Bwana kifanya hiyo kazi ndani ya mioyo yetu ana restore ana restore and it is time it is time and I'm praying I am praying as you pray I am praying kama kuna mambo ambayo nimepoteza rohoni and, and, and let me say let me say wakati bwana ame restore the spiritual things material things bwana analetanga yeye mwenyewe and that is why Matthew 6:33 the bible says seek ye first my kingdom and the rest shall come back come unto you amen and for me this tells me it is the kingdom of God first for me this tells me it is spiritual things first for me this tells me it is spiritual matters first kile ambacho tumepoteza rohoni hallelujah kile ambacho nimepoteza rohoni it is time for restoration for me as Magidon, I am trusting the Lord for restoration I am trusting the Lord for a new perfume sio ile perfume ya kujipaka huku apana ile Mankato ambayo Kristo peke yake ndiyo anaweza kuileta Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana And I am here just crying and just crying and telling the Lord God you are my shepherd God you know my life you know what I have lost with time I pray for restoration I pray that God you will restore to the glory and to the honor of your name Father we give you glory we are here oh Father we are here looking and seeking for restoration some of us Lord we have lost the taste 
we have lost the taste of your goodness some of us we have lost the meaning of salvation but God we come to you oh God we come to you Jesus The Bible says he is the porter and we are the cream. We come to the porter, we come to the porter's hands and ask him to deal with our lives. Hallelujah. Nowadays utapatana na Mkristo hajielewi, hajui yeye ni nani. Unapatana na mtu anakupa uongo kweli kweli mambo ambayo anasema unasikia una feel this is not true hai huu ni uongo kabisa you know and that tells me many of us we have lost the fear of god kwamba mimi ninaweza nikasema uongo hata kushuhudia uongo juu ya rafiki yangu juu ya mtu mwingine we have lost the fear of god but it is time for restoration na hiyo kazi ya restoration kazi ya kuhuishwa kazi ya kurejeshwa ni kazi ya roho mtakatifu peke yake and so we need to cry to the lord we need to come to him and pray and tell the lord we need your restoration and if you're there you're watching diaspora um, you're, you're watching blossom diaspora media you are here you pray together with us we all need uh, we all need to be restored in one way or another if you have lost the prayer power the power to pray it is time for restoration unajua biblia inasema in the book of acts kwamba wanafunzi waliitwa wanafunzi eh, waliitwa wanafunzi um, kwa mara ya kwanza pale antiochia kwa sababu wao walifanana na kristo na kwa hiyo for us kuwa wanafunzi wa kweli wa Kristo kazi ya Mungu lazima ifanyike ndani ya mioyo yetu there is so much purification that need to be done and to be dealt with in our hearts ni lazima Mungu atulete mahali ambapo tunafanana naye mahali ambapo tunakare the image of Christ and for me to come to that level then lazima kuwe na kazi ya Mungu we must pray we must pray we must pray a lot of us we are pretenders we are just pretending to be okay we are just pretending to be on the road of the cross we are just pretending to know Christ but but hata tunajua Yesu akija hakuna place tunaenda whether you are a believer or not we need to pray and cry to the Lord for restoration kuna mambo ambayo rohoni yamepotea na mimi ninamwomba Mungu kuna mambo ambayo nina feel mimi kama magidon kuna mambo ambayo nina feel yameniondokea and i have come to the Lord today i have come to the mountain of God and i am praying for restoration Thank you Lord Jesus. We bless your name. Tunahitaji ile Mungu anatu separate from the world. Ni lazima kuwe na tofauti kati yangu na mtu mwingine. Lazima kuwe na tofauti kati ya Magidon na Magidon mwingine ambayo ambaye ako katika dunia. Lakini leo hii kuna mambo ambayo yamepotea. Ina wewe mpaka hujui aliyeokoka na asiyeokoka. Ndugu zangu, we need the restoration. We need true Christianity ambayo inafanyika ndani ya mioyo yetu. Biblia inaongea kuhusu tohara. Tohara ambayo ayo haifanyiki kwa mwili tohara ambayo inafanyika ndani ya mioyo yetu tohara ambayo ni Mungu peke yake anaweza kuifanya ndani ya mioyo yetu and as we pray shikala baganda rabosa jela rabaganda rerebosa nalara baganda rereboryanda Bwana Ankinudia yuko hapa. We are all here praying for restoration. Dorcas Mwende is here. We are all praying for restoration. God, you know where we are. Lord, you know where we stand and we cry to you, Jesus. All of us we need restoration. All of us we need to be restored back to you in the name of Jesus. Honorable Benedict Maure God he is here he is praying and crying to you for restoration
We are here not just like any other day. But Lord, we are here because we have seen our hearts. We have seen our lives. We know where we are. We pray that in the name of Jesus there will be a restoration. We have a prayer like David praying, creating us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew your right spirit from within us, O oh God. We are praying that God, you cast not our eyes away from your presence, but restore your right spirit from within us, O oh God, creating us a clean heart. Oh Jesus, some is Kevin Akohapa Buana, we are all praying. Masi Wanjao is here, oh God, we are all gathered here in your name. Pastor Enstone is here, oh God, we are all here gathered in your name. Yeah, your name
Najua wakati binti anachumbiwa kuna kwanga na zile ahadi alafu kijana anamchumbia na mwambia nitakuoa na kwa hiyo kuna kwa ku, na kule kujitenga yule binti wale watu ambao vijana walioteka nao waliocheza nao waliotembea nao huu wakati unakuwa ni wakati wa maandalizi yani kuanzia ile siku anachumbiwa mpaka siku ya kuolewa kwake inakuwa ni wakati wa ma, wa maandalizi inakuwa ni wakati wa kujiandaa samani ule unakuwa ni wakati wa kujitenga ndugu zangu yule binti hawezi akacheza na mwanamke mwingine kwa sababu ameshapozwa amesha kwa sababu amebeba ahadi ya kijana wake anasema ikifika tarehe fulani nitafunga ndoa na wewe utakuwa mke wangu nitakufanya uwe mke wangu na kwa hiyo inakuwa ni wakati wa kujitenga kwingi inakuwa ni wakati wa kujipeleleza na wakati wa kujiangalia na ndugu zangu huu ni wakati wa kujiangalia huu ni wakati wa maandalizi kama bi harusi wa Kristo huu ni wakati wa kujiandaa ni wakati maandalizi ya mioyo yetu ifanyike katika mioyo yetu ni wakati wa kujitenga sana kuna mtu ambaye nimeona kwenye Facebook anasema kuimba kwenye kwenye baa ni sawa mimi sikosoi hiyo na siasi semi siongei match kuhusu hiyo na lakini kuna kujitenga kwa kweli kuna kujitenga kuna ile kazi ya rohoni lazima ifanyike ndani ya mioyo yetu na ndio nikasema lazima kuwe na kule kurest to be restored lazima kuwe na kule kurejeshwa mambo ambayo tumeyapoteza that beauty that glory that grace ni wakati wa maandalizi ndugu zangu it is time to prepare Yesu analiandaa kanisa na kwa hiyo ni lazima tujiandae wakienda mbele zake bwana ninaomba niwe kati yao Nisije nikawa wa kukataliwa it is very easy it is very easy and that is why i am crying to the lord even me i am crying to the lord i'm bringing my life before him kwa sababu ni rahisi kuongoza wengi kwa Kristo na mimi pasipo kujiangalia niwe wa kukataliwa na kwa hiyo it is upon me to cry to the lord it is upon me to cry to the lord it is upon me kumwambia bwana that which i am lacking that which is not in me that which has been stolen oh god i pray that you restore I pray kama ni the fear of God imekuondokea kama wewe ni kiguna njia kama wewe ni hapa na pale uko kwenye dunia na uko kanisani it is time it is time to make a decision it is time ujite kwa kamkutano na useme bwana nime realize where i am i need your grace yandara baganda she kiatala baganda Shara baganda Leo tunamwomba Bwana asikie kuomba kwetu Leo tunamsihi Bwana asikie kuomba kwetu Bali ambapo tunahitaji uguzo wa Kristo tunamwomba Bwana asikie kuomba kwetu Leo hatutafuti mambo ya mwilini. Leo hatutafuti kufanikiwa. Leo tunatafuta mambo ya ufalme wa Mungu. Leo tunamlilia Bwana arejeshe. Kulilia Mungu Mungu Usikie kwa 
nyumba kwangu usikie kuomba kwangu ina
Neno lako linasema tuombapo wewe unasikia Na mimi ninachua maombi ambayo tumeyaomba Bwana umesikia Mimi ninajua kwamba umejibu maombi yetu Utakuwa na restoration ndani ya mioyo yetu Bwana utahuisha maisha yetu Ikarabaganda rabase arabaganda rabose Ikararabaganda rababose arabaganda Winfred Mumo anasema humble me baba father humble me baba father i need you jesus and she is saying lord prepare me as a sanctuary Pure and holy, tried and true, this is a desire, oh God. Oh God, she's saying, revive me, oh Lord, and I pray, God, do it. God, she's praying that you renew her strength. Fanya upia moyo wangu na ulipe hatua, buwana na kuitaji. Winfred na kuitaji, buwana njo. Na mimi najua Yesu wewe unasikia kuomba kwetu. We give you honor and glory, O oh God. And Lord, even as we come to the close of this program today, Inaombea wote ambao wame tune in Wote ambao wanao tutazama Wote ambao wako kwenye mtanda Wote ambao wanasikia sauti yangu Everyone that is under my voice Na kwa mbwana utafanya kitu kipi andani ya mio yao Mbwana utaleta distinction between them and the world Wote watabeba the mark of Christ in their lives. Kama vila mtumi anasema, I carry the mark of Christ. Apostle Paul is saying, let no one bother me because I carry the mark of Christ. Tunakuwa mbabwana utusaidie kubeba the mark of Christ. That there will be a difference between your people and other people. Bwana tufanya wa Kristo wa kweli. Kondo ya malisho yako. Tupe imani zaidi. Tupe nguvu ya kujitenga. Kwa sababu ya utukufu wa jina lako. Man can we give you praise? For it is in Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen. Hallelujah. This is Blossom Diaspora Media. My name is Maggie Dawn, and this is prayer, worship and prayer program. It is a pray, place where we come to worship the Lord and allow Him to speak to our hearts. 
and we also speak to him as he ministers to us as well we want to thank God for each one of you that has tuned in everyone that is has written to us we we praise the name of the Lord for you and we ask you come on barikiwa tafadhali sana share share this program share to the glory of your name kama kuna kitu ambacho bwana amekuhudumia kwacho mwachie na rafiki yako share na rafiki yako ili na we na yeye aweze kuhudumiwa na who knows labda kwa, kwa wewe ku share na yeye akahudumiwa kunaweza kuwa na a great turn around in his or her life and as a result of that Mungu anaweza kukubarikia kwa hiyo tu tendo tu la kushare mm? kushare tu na bwana anaweza kujitukuza zaidi kupitia kwa wewe Mungu awabariki sana inawapenda mno na nashukuru na kwa wale ambao wanatufuata this is blossom dust from media tunawatakia tuna wakati mzuri Mungu awabariki sana tukutane Wednesday ijayo bye bye god bless you Amen. Awesome Diaspora Media testifying to the good news of God's grace.